Welcome back my, to my life as a maiden. Trap's tail, Trump's tail, Waifu tail, Twat's tail, Lost tail, Everything tail. A tale of a person with low direction skills. I'm questioning their intelligence. Last time we left off, we get sexually harassed by this big 19 year old girl called Harley Craft yep. with the big boobies here on the far left black hair, purple eyes I feel a Yuri definitely the Yandira oh, 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 I see that hand! Uh, she's going for the air look how excited Dawn is oh that's why Hey, Amiria! The first thing she says. Hi, everyone. Dawn faces once again covered in food. She'd be a tasty person. Tonight's meal is oh, uh, salmon and vegetables. Uh, oh, I feel like I'm gonna be sick. I don't know how she got so messy up with that. How did she get messy with that? Harley and I sat down with everyone with plates of food we got from the kitchen. Who's this woman? Uh, I guess you could call her that. She's over 18. She's a young adult. Are you talking to me? Who else? What's up, lady? I'm Harley Craft. The name Don Layson, and don't you forget it, or else I'll break your legs. I break your legs. Don't touch my wife. Who, um, don't touch my spaghetti butts. <laughs> that is my spaghetti. I may be, oh, Don, she's two years younger, was she? Fifteen, but I still break your legs. Or else, uh oh, I don't know. I pour ice cubes down your shirt or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's evil. I like that. I hate being cold. What kind of person could be so cruel? Dawn is only kidding. She's mischief, 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 ah, mischievous, mischievous. But I doubt she'd go that far for something so small. What? Just to squeeze everyone in. To squeeze everyone in. So I see that you return to Maiden Heart Academy. My parents really want me to graduate. It's such a pain. I just want to sleep. Will you be going to class this year? I heard your attendance rate last year was <laughs> abysmal. I will. I made a promise to Maria that I'd go and in exchange she'll sleep with me <laughs> twice a week. <laughs> oh, not the way to word it. And the fact that Sylvia knows. Well, yeah, and no one else oh. knows that she knows, but... Oh, well, we don't know that, that she, she knows, knows that but she... she knows that... Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> she knows what we are, but we don't know that she knows. <laughs> but Erica knows that she knows, and she knows that Erica knows. Knows, oh. knows, knows. Definitely knows. Uh, oh, look. She's like, oh... Audrey... <laughs> look at her faces! She's like, yay! And they're like, Ooh. what about us? Yeah. I can't be everyone's blanket. Okay, I have to schedule. <laughs> Reschedule. Friday? Okay, Monday I'll be Harley's blanket. Tuesday I'll be Dawn's blanket. Wednesday I'll be Sylvia's blanket. Thursday I'll be Andre's blanket. And on Friday I shall be Erica's blanket. But Saturday and Sunday I don't need a break from you guys. No blanket for no one. On my own blanket. And then there's gonna be two more waifus. Ah, <laughs> Dawn, don't be like that. Why me? What? She's going to sleep with you? <laughs> yes, yeah, she is the best. I never felt that good with my <laughs> any of the others before. What oh. the fuck? Please shut the fuck <laughs> up. So Please shut up. <laughs> Someone stick a sock in her mouth. Ma Maria, you've already done it with her? What? No, I haven't. You're misunderstanding. We haven't done anything. 
Hmm, yes we have. I was laying down and you were on top of me. We did it under the tree. <laughs> you fucking bitch! <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! Did you hit your head and forget? How vulgar. I didn't take you as the type of person to do such a thing in public with someone you just met, Maria. God damn it, jumping the guns, everyone. Do you really think that's okay? I didn't think you should give her y your body just so she will go to class. I get that you're a nice person who cares about others, but you can't let her take advantage of you. I'm telling you, you all have the wrong idea. She's talking about naps. She has a odd fascination with using me as a blanket. Huh? What did they think I was talking about? Uh, if you don't know, I'd rather not say. Sex? It's sex! We thought you two had done the nasty! And she says it anyway? I want to crawl up into a ball, close my eyes, cover my ears. This is all so embarrassing. Oh! No, not that... That's not what happened. Thank goodness, I was so worried. And we're all going to ignore the fact that Maria said Harley wants to use her as a blanket. That's pretty weird. It is it? But Maria has such a warm and soft body. Of course she does. Maria is the perfect girl. It should be no surprise that she has <laughs> qualities like that. Perfect girl, if only you knew how wrong you were. Would you still like me as much if you would <laughs> as much as you do, or would you come to hate me for deceiving you? It's a look it's a little strange to use another person as a blanket, but Harley has always been known to be a interesting individual. Is this really okay with you, Maria? No. It's fine, it's only twice a week, so it would be much <laughs> wouldn't won't be as much trouble. Besides, I'm happy to have a new friend. I don't really care how strange someone is. Maybe it's because I have no friends in my life before coming to Maiden Heart Academy, other than Audrey when I was younger that I'm ready to accept nearly anyone who's nice to me. Be nice to me. Welcome to the Maria Fan Club. Welcome to the Maria Fan Club, Harley. I'm the president and Andre is f the vice president. Hey, why can't I be the vice president? You haven't helped Maria enough. Andre has done more than you. Please don't make this into a competition for an uh, imaginary position. What position would I be? You are lowly, lowly recruit. <laughs> wow, the balls on Dawn. Well, the balls on Maria, but yay. <laughs> you are lowly recruit, but work hard and you'll quickly advance through the ranks. I, as president, I, I'm, I'm the goddess, fuck, godmother. I'd break your legs. I think I pass. Work sounds like too much work. <laughs> You're rejecting the club? How could you do such a thing? Could it be you think you've already won Maria's heart? Oh no, Dawn getting like this again? She certainly has a strong infection with you. Maria's heart? Why would I want Maria's heart? Wouldn't she be dead? If I had a Wouldn't she be dead if I had a heart? Yeah, that's true. She takes things so. <laughs> she takes. <laughs> okay. She takes Calm down. Literally. Yes, she takes things very literally. I was enjoying that conversation. Yeah. Can we go back to that conversation? It was funny. Phew. Tired? A little. Dawn and Harley are both exhausting for me.
to deal with. They both admire me in different ways and aren't hesitant to let me and everyone else know how they feel. You say that, but you're enjoying it, the attention, aren't you? Yes, I, I used to hate getting attention because I was almost... It was, it was always negative. It's nice to finally receive some praise and even though I don't think I deserve it. How badly were you bullied for your looks? What? What? I don't remember telling you that I was bullied and I definitely don't remember saying it was because of the way I looked. Audrey knows I've been bullied. But I didn't tell her the reason. The only person who should know is Erica. But she said she wouldn't tell anyone. Erica doesn't know the exact details, but I did tell her why people picked on me. Miss Farrell told her not to tell anyone my secret, so I doubt she'd tell Sylvia why I got bullied. Uh, the way you act about your looks made me think you weren't confident in yourself because of what someone had said to you. And, and you did say that you didn't really have friends. Maybe you went through an awkward teenage phase or something. Oh, I see. You're right. I was bullied for my looks. I was constantly picked on every day. Most of it was verbal, which was bad enough, but sometimes it got physical. Some people... F <sighs> Some people find verbal bullying worse than physical, but I would have rather gone through more verbal bullying than the physical torment I had to endure. What did they do to you? You don't have to answer if you're not comfortable enough. You're my friend, so I feel like I can trust you with this. <sighs> what, what is this? What the fuck? What, the really? I had few injuries on my back from the accident that led to me to transfer to this school, but they healed. These did not. They are from a particular awful day for me. There's so many of them. About two years ago, I was cornered after school and brought up to the school roof by the group of students who hated me. I thought they were going to beat me up like they did every so often, but I was wrong. What they had planned for me was much, much worse than anything I could have imagined they were capable of doing. They they tortured you? Tortured? I never thought about it like that. That's what they were doing to me. They had some one keep a lookout for teachers and other students while they rest ta taunted me. They pushed me onto the ground and covered my mouth so I couldn't scream. I don't know who it was. It's all a blur and all I remember is the pain. One of them ripped off my shirt and started cutting me with a knife. These are knife marks? Yes, I was cut over and over for more than an hour while they either laughed or talked among themselves as if nothing was going on. I thought they were going to kill me. That's so cruel! How could they do such a thing to you? According to them, I deserved much more than the pain they were giving me. For the way you looked and acted, my personality didn't sit well with them. That doesn't give them the right to do something so inhumane. Why didn't you tell anyone? They said that if I told someone, one of them would come after me and finish the job. I was so scared that I couldn't think straight. After they were done torturing me, they cleaned up the blood and tossed me a red t-shirt, telling me to let nobody see my back. Walking home after that was really difficult. I was in so much pain. I was crying, but when I got home, I stayed silent about my injuries. My dad yelled at me for crying, and my mum said I needed to mature and stop being so sensitive. Fucking hell.
My little brother said I was he he was ashamed to have me have a crybaby as his sibling. Wow. Jeez. Wow. That that's really dark. But Maria looks really pretty like that. God damn it. Why is it such a pretty trap? Just trying to lighten the mood. That was, that was some fucked up shit. That's so horrible. I can't believe you've been through all that. That was deep, man. You've been through all that and you still managed to smile so much? Maria, you're amazing. I don't think so. I still worry so much about myself. You are. I think most people would be scared and unable to trust others after something like that. I am scared though. I didn't mean it like that. I'm sorry. I came, came out insensitive. It's okay. I know what you mean. It's just that these scars are a big deal to me. I've always wanted to look beautiful and I've been told that I am, but if they saw my scars, would they still say the same thing? They don't detract from your beauty. You're beautiful no matter what. Because you're beautiful no matter what they say. Words can't bring me down. Nope! Christine Aguilera. Yo, oh, man, you need to punch yourself in the dick. <laughs> Thank you. I will... <clears throat> Thank you. It would be a lie to say that I completely believe that, but your words mean a lot. Anytime. I know I've been driving, up, diving way too deep into your personal life, but I'm too curious for my own good. What was the accident you mentioned that led you transferring? I was pushed down a flight of stairs and ended up in the hospital with broken bones. It was called an accident, but I highly doubt it was. I think someone got completely sick of me and wanted me to die. What kind of school did you go to? These people sound awful. They sound like little shits that means to be run over by a semi-truck. They were very intolerant up to those who were different. I look the most different to them, so I became a, the target for everyone in the school to make fun of and abuse. Ugh! I'm tricked? Ticked? I'm ticked? I'm triggered! I'm triggered! I wish I could see though these sorry excuse for human beings and teach them a lesson. I'll leave it to Dawn, she'll break their legs. Yeah. While I appreciate the thought, I want to move and forget about my past. I think this school will allow me to do that. I agree. This In this school, you're already admired. Not just by Dawn and Harley, but I've heard other girls talking positively about you too. Yeah. Really? I didn't notice. They have. Okay, not only because of your attractiveness, but because of your intelligence too. Not for directions. Not for directions. You got one of the highest marks in the entrance of Sam. You nearly beat my sister, who studies way more than a normal person should. But she took, she took it years ago, when she was entering grade nine. I just took it a couple of months ago, so I didn't have an unfair advantage in age. I don't think I read that right. But, oh wow, it's moving on. No, the difficulty is scaled by grade, so the test you took was harder than the one she took, my sis took. Oh, I didn't know that, so I did pretty good then. You haven't looked at your marks yet? It's posted in the library. I'll check it out when I have t the time. Anyway, I've got some reading I need to do f for my classes, so I'll see you tomorrow. See you. Ooh. Hey, he, uh, he's been through so much. Erica 
I'm going to make sure make you apologize to him. She already has finally. Yeah, she finally did it. But I shall leave that for the next episode. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, share with your friends, share with your family, share with your enemies. Unless they're douchebag little shits that do something like that, then fuck them. Yeah, get them out. But Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode. Thank you. Bye.